incoming message. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pimp players, and, well, uh, everyone else. Um, this is Zephanix here, and today we are going ahead and playing Elite Dangerous. We are just doing a simple run. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just a simple, simple transport run. So, right now, just to go ahead and let you know, I'm going to show you two things about my ship right now. Oh, first of all, i got to make this thing. There we go. This is my adder ship. Take a look around. There's a second um, thing there for the next guy. Uh, so when this thing starts doing multi-crew, I am all ready for it. All ready for it. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a, um, take a look at the ship for a second here. So we go here to Starport Services. I kind of want to show you what I've done here. So right now, um, I got a whole bunch of silver in my back pocket right here and i am headed towards i believe uh give me one second i am headed towards uh the forward hub located in hip 106213 so we're going to that system right here so when i go outfitting just kind of let you know this is my adder apparently there are many adders like it but this one is mine now um i got basically the adder comes with when it comes to optional internal it has three um, um two class threes two class twos and two class ones now for those who don't know this is where you can go ahead and put in your op um your optional stuff you know like cargo holds or computers and stuff like that uh so what i did was this uh right here is usually shields i removed the shield and replaced it with a uh with a you know, capacitive a cargo hold cargo rack right there and what i did was uh, um right here used to be a cargo rack of two but i replaced it with a um i replaced it with a standard docking pc so that'll make it so like when I'm at work and I'm trying to play the game, I can go ahead and say, okay, no problem, bang. You know, I can dock without any problem. So that's why that's like that. So, yeah. So just to kind of peek over here too, over here is my inventory. And I have about 24 quality of, uh, 24 units of silver in there. And I'm going to go ahead and sell that silver. And I'm going to go ahead and purchase something else and bring it back over here. You'll see how the prices is when I go ahead and do it. So I'm going to launch the um, ship right now. While the ship is launching, Go to my galaxy map. I'm going to go ahead and set for um, where I'm going to right now. So I currently got the silver in my hand. So I need to go to uh, forward hub. So got got my navigation unit set for forward hub right here. Whoa. <laughs> Lost control of the ship for a second. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I usually let go of the uh, the thing here, but I screwed up. Uh, what's going on? Okay, sorry about that. I lost control of my ship for a second. Here. I don't know what happened, honestly. And got pan up here. Let's go. There we go. Almost caught an L there. <laughs> There'll be no L catching today. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is go over here, and we're gonna go ahead and take up the landing, landing gear. gear In this game, the landing gear will go ahead and make you slower. So you want to go ahead and um, get rid of your landing gear, and bang. Let's go ahead and fly. We're heading towards our nav, um, our navigation point right there, our waypoint, if you will. So keep in mind, I am playing this on an Xbox 360 controller, not not the console. Playing on a PC, but the Xbox 360 con uh, controller. So I'm used to playing either with the keyboard and mouse or the actual flight stick. I got a $200 flight stick that could be using, and then I'm not right now. So that might be a problem right there. All right, so we're heading, um, once again, it tells you right there, we're heading to HIP 106213. Uh, it's a higher security area and neutral power, and it is a clean area. So, or I think, um, I think my cargo hold is clean, because I only have silver in here, so. Four, three, we're heading two, out, and one. Engage. Now, for those who may be looking, you may be like, wow, this might look really good in virtual reality. My response is, Freak. Yeah, it looks good in virtual reality. Dude, all jokes aside, VR is the, is the shits with this. I love this. All right, so we hit. We got here. We want to make sure. I don't have no shields right now, so we want to make sure we stay away from that sun. You want to fly here? Take a look around my ship. That's what a co-pilot's gonna say when this thing get all multiplayer or, or multi-ship rather. Anyway, so we're flying over here. And 
so far so good. I can go ahead and put on the camera. right there and take off the camera because it sounds like I'm slowing down <laughs> so which means that I'm probably approaching all right so I'm approaching here so um, I hate overshooting these things but I do it all the time so what I like to do is I like to go here and want to slow down and try to keep um, my distance um, in conjunction with my speed for those who don't know what that is if you look at the bottom left hand corner um, that is basically my targeting PC over there so it tells you what I'm targeting it also tells you um, the distance and for what I'm targeting, the speed in which I am going, uh, the alignment of the set place that I'm heading to. Um, this is located in, in um, shipping lane uh, system um, or shipping lane area rather, or rather no, it's in the shipping lane, I think that's a uh, solar system I think it is. Yeah, solar system and the HIP 106213 Galaxy. I believe that's how it is. I might be wrong about um, that is, but I believe that's how it's read. All right, so coming here, coming to a halt. About to come out of warp, quote unquote warp. All right. Let's tell me to slow down. I am slowing down. Not slowing down fast enough. I'm coming down. Let's see if I. Oh, wait, did I. Uh... That was stupid. What I did was I hit the double tap and pulled an emergency uh, stop. And I shouldn't have done that. Uh, the reason why I shouldn't have done that is because I don't have those shields. So. See, my spoke, that's my spoke stream right there. So, Alright, let's get this button. So, that was stupid, but. Look, at, look how long that smoke stream was. That's how far I went, ladies and gentlemen. So, my F. Um, my um, FSD drive is still cooling down. You can see that on the right hand side of the screen, bottom. And as soon as it finishes cooling down, I will go ahead and go back into warp. Frameshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. speed and goods if you look at the bottom left hand corner see how the speed is in that little white area that means it's safe so almost there that means I can drop out perfectly which is heading right here systems gonna be okay so I'm dropping out about 141 kilometers away and like I said before I got a docking PC so I'll go ahead and contact of course docking Sorgon Peterson Zulu Echo Baba is under federal control. Submit to randomized security. Just slow down and let the sure take the rest. And right now I will eat my ocean spray gel cranberry sauce while I land. And just in case I didn't tell you this, the reason why I did this was very, very simple. Uh, sometimes if, if work is slow, uh, I like to go ahead and relax and play this game. Right? So what happened is, is that uh, it, it sometimes it gets difficult for me to take a call and all of a sudden I'm trying to take a call and um, you know it's not letting me go ahead and uh, I can't land ship you know so taking off is easy uh, flying you know even though we just saw uh, earlier not contradicts with that but I'm just saying doing everything except for landing is pretty easy and once you start landing it gets a little difficult sometimes all right so we're going inside the port right here and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead to Comedy's Market and sell off um, what I actually purchased. And I purchased, I believe it was silver. Uh, silver? Okay, hold on. Foods, industrial metals. Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. Oh, boy. Got worried there for a second there. And here we go. Selling them. So right now, I just sold this for a profit of 9,672 credits. So 
So I go ahead and submit with that. Transactions going through. And then now I just now we're currently sitting at 8,000, um, 812,000 credits right now. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and purchase the other thing I come for. This is the, where the big money is, Imperial Slaves. For the record, yes, I do understand the irony of a black man playing in video games and selling slaves. So if you thought I didn't understand the irony, no. I do. I do. Anyway, so purchase uh, slaves here. Now, I need to go ahead and uh, repair all because, you know, coming out of that warp, I damaged my ship a little bit. And refuel. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and set things up and take off right now. So I guess first thing I'm going to do is go over here, go to my nav computer. Once again, I have um, the places I want to go already bookmarked. Use this bookmark, ladies and gentlemen. It's really good. And I'm going to go ahead and plot a route, plot a route. Look at my ship like, wow, it's still, it sure is daytime in here. Uh, and then go ahead and launch. And while I'm launching, I want to go here. Detach confirmed. Regulate speed to Sorry, outside. Sorry, I went too fast with that to detach, uh, disconnect the computer. Uh, landing gear retracted. Retract the landing gear. Go up. Even now, transform and well, I guess transform and rise up. That's right. That's that Decepticon stuff. Transform and roll out is Autobot. Transform Decept Transform and rise up is Decepticon. Just if, if you didn't know that. And take it off. Um, so you want to go to make sure your landing gear once again is down for you know because that's that kind of slows you down right there. So I'm heading to the Meheim system right here. I am currently um, heading to um, Bold Vision which is in the Meheim system, which is originally where we came from. So we're going to go up there, and as soon as the mass lock is let go, we're going to go. Mass lock is basically when you're next to something huge. Drive so it's like something's huge there, so we're not going to let you do it. So right now we're going to the Meheim system. Uh, it is medium security, neutral power, and I have illicit cargo in my, uh, well, cargo. So we got to be careful. Four, three, two, one, engage. Four laser wheels. Should be careful. All right, so we're going through, we're going through, we're heading over here. Bang, zoom, zoom, bang. And yeah, there. So we want to get away from the sun. I got, I got no shield. I got no shield. Sorry. Um. So, and if you ever want to know how hot your ship is running right now, if you look in the center right there. Uh, look at the center on the top of the console right there. Uh, you'll see where it says uh, 42, um, well, 40 degrees, or 40%. That, I believe, is uh, the heat in the, um, or how hot the ship is getting. So, that's a thing. So. So, now we're flying there. We're going slow. We go ahead and be badasses. Let me see. Let's be real badasses here. Where is it at? Oh, turn on the lights on. I forgot about that. Uh, I was gonna turn off life support, but I don't. I don't see life support there. <laughs> anyway, so we're slowing down here. I actually. Oh no 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 I got to no shield. This is not going to be good if I don't get out of here. Remember that L that we was talking about how we didn't want to catch? I feel we might catch one. Whoa, that was close. Top of that, we might be going too fast to here, so we might not even make it. And he might in try to interdict me again. Woo! That was close, ladies and gentlemen. That was close. And I won't.
Remember, my ship has currently has no shield in it right now. And I'm through. Woo, that was close. Take it off. Full power. Turn on here. Let's get the heck inside here. This is, the reason why I'm more worried about it is because, keep in mind, what I got right now is a lot of, uh, is very expensive right now. Slaves are very expensive. And he could go ahead and take all that money from me. And keep in mind, another thing too, it's not about the money that I'm making, but keep in mind that it's also about um, other situations too. Like, for example, in order to make that money, I got to spend money. So I wind up losing a whole bunch of money in this case. I went, in, in other words, uh, if I'm at 600,000, I'll go down to about 300,000, 200,000 if I don't sell the stuff, if I die, so. I stand to lose a lot of money. Landing gear deployed. Alright, mission accomplished. Welcome to Bold Vision. Landing complete. Systems offline. The Imperial Flight Operations Bureau wishes you a pleasant and productive And command. let's go ahead and sell these things. Before I get caught. Well, I can get caught, but I'm just saying. And there we go. So I just made, right now, I started off the whole thing, you know, that quick run. With about, uh, I think it was like a little bit less than 800. And now I am now at 800 and seven, um, 873,000 credits. So not too shabby for a good run here. And as you see here, um, the actual um, uh, route is not really hard on my fuel at all. And there you go. And it makes it easier now that I have a, um, a flight computer. So I just want to go ahead and show off how to go ahead and do a route there and just kind of show what could be expected there. And there you go. Look at that. I actually had a almost almost a problem. Almost a problem. You guys have a good night. Zap is out.